People have adopted all kinds of animal friends throughout history, but dogs have always been humankind's closest companions. According to PBS, it was over 130,000 years ago that humans and gray wolves first got cuddly. And while the exact origins of this mutually beneficial relationship are mysterious, it's speculated that it was actually the canines who domesticated the humans rather than the other way around. The one thing that can't be debated is that these two strikingly different species have been buddy-buddy ever since. That said, today's dogs are dramatically different animals than the wolves they evolved from. Have you ever seen someone carrying a wolf in a handbag? No. And that begs the question, which modern dog breed is closest to its wolf ancestors? Hold your breath, dog lovers. According to The Nest, back in 2012, a collaborative DNA study called CanMap was conducted on 85 different dog breeds using 1,000 individual dogs. While the results of this study were fascinating in many ways, perhaps the most amusing discovery was that the canine which had the most in common with its old gray wolf grandpa was, wait for it, the Shiba Inu. Yes, that's the same cute little orange fella made famous by internet memes with its stout body and curly cute tail. Interestingly enough, the Shiba Inu is also the dog breed that is genetically closest to the fox, which might explain why they look like a fluffy fox-wolf hybrid. Surprising as these results may be, they're also easy to misread. Just because Shibas are genetically more similar to gray wolves doesn't mean that they're particularly wolfy when it comes to their behavior. So which dogs actually seem the most wolfy? Red eyes, cold black fur, enormous dog, wolf. There are certainly a number of dogs that look and act more like wolves than the Shiba Inu, including Utanagans and Siberian Huskies. But according to the American Kennel Club, the snow-loving Alaskan Malamute stands out thanks to its preference for running in packs. This group behavior, which is about as wolfy as it gets, stands in contrast to more solitary and aloof dogs like Shebas. Siberian Huskies also exhibit this tendency as well. But as the Malamute is slightly closer in genetic makeup to the wolf, you could make a solid argument that Alaskan Malamutes are overall the most wolf-like dogs around. If there's one thing that all these wolfy studies and wolfy debates prove, it's that people really love the idea of having the wolfiest dog imaginable. So then, if people really want a wolfy dog, why not just get a domestic wolf and raise it as a dog? Well, here's the thing. Similar as they may be, dogs and wolves aren't the same, and frankly, you probably don't want a real wolf as a pet. Again, keep in mind that dogs have evolved alongside humans for tens of thousands of years. So even if you were to adopt a wolf as a puppy and raise it like a dog, it would exhibit different natural behaviors once it comes of age. The same is true of wolf-dog hybrids, which are the product of mating a wolf with a regular old dog. These animals probably won't have the instinctive desire to please you, much less snuggle on the couch. That's not to say that wolves are mean or vicious. They aren't, but they do communicate differently than dogs, and this can create problems when it comes to human interaction. For instance, according to Grey Wolf Conservation, wolves often greet one another by hugging with their mouths. That's fine if you're a wolf, but if you're a human, you might not enjoy your pet wolf biting your face. Because you know what our killer is? Depression. Wolves. Mm -hmm. Also, wolves and wolf dogs aren't easily managed or trained. Kim Miles, VP of the Wolf Dog Advocacy Group, the Florida Lupine Association, says, A dog is like a 12-year-old child, and a wolf is like a 35-year-old man. The dog will generally do what you want it to, but the wolf will do what you want only if he wants to do it himself. And seriously, who would want a 35-year-old man as a pet? We'll just stick to fluffy dogs, thanks. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite animals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.